I think what I'll do is I'll just give you a start of some ideas that you can try with these proofs. Uh, <coughs> so I could take them to the finish, but I think it just give you an idea of something that maybe that you can try. Okay, this first one I look at, and you got to start with one side or the other. I guess you can work on both sides, but I think I'm going to start on this side because it has a denominator that's got two terms. I see a denominator on the other side that only has one term, so I'm wondering what kind of things I could do to maybe get one term. Um, so maybe one thing that you could do is multiply this by the conjugate. We've done that lots when we were uh, simplifying stuff with radicals uh, and with uh, complex numbers. We've uh, multiplied by a conjugate, but that is something that you can do anytime. Uh, just to see if you can simplify and see what happens after you do that. So on the top, I'm just going to leave that in factored form. But on the bottom, I'll foil that whole thing out. So 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times minus cos is a minus cos x. Cos times 1 would be a positive cos x. And those, of course, are going to cancel. And then this times this will be um, a minus cos squared. So, on the top, I've got sine x, 1 minus cos x. And on the bottom, I have 1 minus uh, cos squared x. Now, I've seen that somewhere before, and I think it's from here. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. So, if I move this to this side, anywhere I see sine squared theta, I can replace it with 1 minus cos squared theta. Or if I see this, I can replace it with that. That's what I think that I would do there. And then see if there's anything that you can cancel and go from there. Hopefully that gets you to a point where you could finish that question. There's another one. Uh, ooh. I wonder what I'd be doing with this one. Okay. Uh, well, sine 2 theta, I know on that side is 2 sine theta cos theta. That's an identity. And then on this one, 1 plus tan squared, I think that's, that's an identity too. Let me look up my formula sheet, if I can find it. Formula sheet. Anywhere I see, where is it? No, on that page. Oh, here it is. 1 plus tan squared, I can call it secant squared. So, uh, if I have 2 tan theta, then everywhere I see this from an identity, it tells me I can write second squared theta. Okay, um, even pretty good there. Now, tan theta is the same thing as sine theta over cos theta. And secant squared theta, if it's secant on the bottom, I can move it to the top and make it cos squared theta. It was secant for that. And hopefully that gets you to a spot where you can see that it might come out to the other side. Another one. Cos u minus v over cos u sine v equals tan v plus cos v. Oh, great. I don't even know what to do with this one. Uh, maybe on this side. Oh, let's try the left side. Cos u minus v. That's an identity. Cos u minus v, where's that, right there. So that's the same as cos u, cos v, um, plus, I think I'm gonna get this right, yep. Sine u, sine v, all over cos u, sine v. Okay. On the top, I can't, I can't factor anything out. They're all different. I might just have to leave it like that. Oh, I don't like that much. Um, I guess what I could do is write each of the terms over the denominator. Right? Plus sine u, sine v, over that common denominator, cos u, sine v. 
Now here goes cancel. And cos over sine of V, there's the same angle. I could write that as cotan V, A. And here I've got a sine V and a sine V. And sine over cos is the same thing as tan. Hey, there it is. Done. Proved. Oh, I like that one. Sorry, I finished that one for you. I should have, should have stopped. Okay, here's another one. One minus five theta cos theta minus sine theta. This looks like an identity though. But there's a minus in front of there that bothers me. I'm going to factor a minus out of those. So it'll be 1 minus, and then cos 5 theta, cos 3 theta, plus sine 5 theta, sine 3 theta. Equal. And then this uh, is really cos of um, 5 theta minus 3 theta. I think. Um, yeah, that's an identity. And then 50 minus 30 is 20. So it's 1 minus cos of 20. No, not 20. 5 theta minus 3 theta is 2 theta. Cos 2 theta is equal to 2 sine squared theta. Okay, is that an identity? close to one. So cos 2 theta, so 1 minus, okay, cos 2 theta, it says is 1 minus 2 sine squared theta is equal to the other side. And then if I apply that minus sine through, I get this. 1 minus 1 cancels. Oh, and one side is equal to the other side. QED. That's an interesting one. So I have to use that identity. Cos 4, ooh, that looks like a difference of squares. So that'll be cos squared x uh, minus sine squared x and cos squared x plus sine squared x. Okay, this, that's an identity. Cos squared plus sine squared is equal to 1, right? So that's just 1. So then I have cos squared x minus sine squared x equals cos 2x, and I think that's an identity. Yep, that's on my identity chart. Done. Done. Mm -hmm. mm. Cos 3 minus sine 3. That looks like a difference of cubes. I guess I could factor that. So that would be cos theta minus sine theta times cos theta plus cos theta sine theta plus sine squared theta all over cos theta minus Okay, and that's uh, from a difference of cubes. And I think that's on, is that on the formula sheet? Uh, I don't see it. Oh, no, there it is, sum of difference of cubes. Yeah, there it is. Is that right? A minus, yeah, that's right. Oh, now this is the same as that. So here, oh, and this first one, this should be cos squared. Okay, and then... Hmm. So then I'd have cos squared beta plus sine squared beta. And I want to know if that's equal to this stuff. Hmm. Oh, what am I doing? Sorry, I missed a bit. Cos squared beta plus cos beta sine beta plus sine squared beta. I was supposed to write just all that stuff there. Okay, now 
cos squared plus sine squared, that's equal to 1 again. So this would be 1 plus cos beta sine beta is equal to this stuff. 2 plus sine 2 beta over 2. Hmm. This 2 beta thing, that's a double angle identity. So that's the same as 2 sine beta cos beta all over 2. Oh, and now the 2 is going to be all everybody. So it'll be 1 plus sine beta cos beta. And that's what I have on the other side. Ah, done. QED. Interesting. One last one. Ooh, I don't know if I want to do this one. Ah. Okay, well, let's give it a shot. So there's this, and that's an identity. It's a sum, a, uh, sum identity. So it's sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta. Okay, that's what this is. And then this one is um, sine alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sine beta. Okay, now let's foil things. Now, one's plus, one's minus, so the middle term's going to cancel out. So I'm just going to do this times this, because the blue one, this one times that one, and this one times that one, they're going to be the same thing, and I think they'll, all, they'll cancel out. Yeah, they're going to be the same thing, so they'll cancel out. So I'm just going to do the red one there, that first one. So it'll be sine squared alpha cos squared beta. And then this one times this one. So minus cos squared alpha sine squared beta. OK. Um, that's not helping me much yet. Hmm. Can I factor anything out? There's nothing that's the same. Let's try the other side. So this is a difference of squares. This will be sine alpha minus sine beta times sine alpha plus sine beta. On this one, all I have are sines. Why don't we get rid of our, our ones over here? The cos is on this side. Because I know that uh, sine squared plus cos squared equals 1. So if I take the sine squared over, everywhere I see a cos squared, I can replace it with 1 minus sine squared. So let's do that. So I have sine squared alpha times 1 minus sine squared beta minus, let's do the same thing there, so 1 minus cos squared alpha times sine squared beta. Hold it. No. This, this can get confusing, eh? This one, uh, cos squared is 1 minus sine squared alpha. Okay, well if I multiply through here, so I'll get sine squared alpha minus, ooh, sine squared alpha, sine squared beta. Same thing here. Um, uh, let's see, I have, I have a minus here and the sign, so I'm going to use both of those and multiply through. So the first one will be a minus sine squared beta times 1, which is just that. And then the next one will be minus times a minus will be a positive sine squared alpha sine squared beta. Oh, 
hold on. This is the same as this. The one's minus and one's plus. They're the same, right? So they can cancel. So on the left side, then, all I'd have is sine squared alpha minus sine squared beta. And that's what I have right there. Done. I've proved that one side is equal to the other side. Hopefully that helps you with those questions. Lots of tinkering and playing around.